All right, so we're about to begin this lesson on factoring by grouping. Uh, first part is the do now. Um, pause the video. If you haven't done the do now on your own, complete the do now and then come back. Go ahead and pause it now. All right, so if you're back at this point in the video, you attempted to complete the do now on your own or you're absolutely stuck on it. If, if it is so, you should definitely complete the lesson on factor and the greatest common factor before you do this lesson because you need to have that down. All right, let's go. So first thing is I want my greatest common factor between 45 and 25. I can do my math number nine and I found out that's five. So I skip a space and I write down the five. I then check to see if there's a letter in common and there is none, so it's just five. I open my parentheses and I'm gonna divide each term by my GCF. 45 divided by five is gonna be nine, bring down my X squared and 25, negative 25 divided by five is gonna give me minus five and that's it. Number two, same concept. I'm using a little space on the left. Uh, seven and 35, I skip a space, I go to the left and I put down the seven. Then I look to see if they have any letters in common. I got A and A squared. So I'm going to use that A, the lowest exponent of the two. Then I notice there's a B and a B. And of course, I use the lowest exponent, which is just B. So my greatest common factor as a whole is 7AB. Now I'm dividing each term by whatever my GCF is. Same flow as the previous lesson. Uh, this cancels to give me a 1. This cancels to give me another 1. And that cancels to give me a 1. So one times one times one is gonna be just one, okay? Uh, negative 35 over seven, over seven is going to give me negative five. I know that a squared over a, I'm gonna do the exponent of two minus the exponent of one that we don't see. And that's gonna give me a to the first power. And then the b's are gonna cancel to give me a one. So negative five a times one is gonna give me minus five a. So let's move down. All right, uh, factoring out the GCF here uh, between eight and four. Um, skip a space to the left, I'm gonna put my four. I'm looking to see if they both have an X, which they do. And the lowest exponent available is three, which is the same. So I'm gonna use four X to the third. Do they both have a Y? No. So I'm definitely not gonna use Y as my GCF. So I open my parentheses and I'm dividing by 4x to the third power each term. 8 divided by 4 gives me 2. The x to the thirds cancel out. I'm left with y to the second. The 4s cancel out to give me a 1. x cubes cancel out to give me a 1, so I'm going to have plus 1. Now, again, these problems should be pretty smooth to understand because they are from the previous lesson. If they're not... I recommend you complete the previous lesson on greatest common factor before you tackle these, okay? All right, four, we're actually gonna save, but I actually wanna jump to five, right? Now, when I'm looking at five, I'm thinking, what do they have in common? Some people say nothing. Well, the thing that we obviously see have in common is the box. I know some people think, thinking, what do you mean by box? But let's think of this. What is this symbol here? A lot of you have said three, right? Now, why is it a three? Have you ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. This is a three because human beings decided that this would represent a quantity of three things. Maybe somewhere on another planet, this would be three. Somewhere in a whole different universe, this would be three. We choose that this symbol to represent three. So when you're looking at different symbols, know that variables don't necessarily have to be letters, but they can also be a rectangle. So in this case, the greatest common factor of these two big terms is a rectangle. So I'm going to put my rectangle on the outside, then I'm going to divide by my rectangle. Now rectangle over rectangle cancels to become one, and we're left with that 3x. And rectangle over rectangle canceled to become one, and we're left with the five. And yes, we factored out the greatest common factor. All right, turn the page with me. I'll see you on the next video.